Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another clock review for you all. But before we get into that, this is my first video for 2024, so I want to wish you all a very happy new year. I have a lot of cool stuff for the channel, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Now, what we're looking at today is actually another talking atomic clock, and it happens to be the smallest one that I have. This is the Ryzen Talking Atomic Keychain Clock. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'll demonstrate it and, of course, tell you what I think of it. So I got this in December 2023, so I've only had it a little over a month, actually, at this point. And I'll demonstrate kind of what I like about it and also what I really don't like about it. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to hold it in my hand, and on the main, like, face of it, there's just one button, the talk button. And pressing that cycles you through the time, the date, alarm time, and whether the clock has received a signal. And so that's the main talk button. Now on the back, there are three buttons. Now there, actually there are four technically, but the main three that you can feel are minute, alarm, and hour, and I'll demonstrate those as we need them. Now, the other button that there is, and I'm trying to remember exactly where it is so I can describe it, is a time zone setting button. Oh yeah, I think it's next to hour, but unfortunately, it's a button that you do need a, like a pin or a paper clip for to access, so it's very recessed. And I actually didn't know about this button when I got this clock, so I had some trouble getting it going, but then when I finally figured it out, I was able to fix it, so that was good. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. Now, I actually like the voice on this. It is different to the one that is on the other Atomic Ryzen clocks that we looked at. Actually, this one will be familiar to you if you have some of the talking watches. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead now and press the talk button. The time is 2.33 p.m. Okay, we get the time if I press it again. Today is Sunday, January 28th, year 2024. Okay, get the date. Come on. The alarm time is 9.05 a.m. Alarm is on. We get the alarm. USA time updated. And we get the time status. The time is 2.33 p.m. So... I'm glad this is updated. I have been having a bit of trouble. I don't know if it's due to recent construction in our area, but I've actually had trouble getting my atomic clocks to get signals lately. So I'm glad this one's managing to pick one up. Actually, bit of a fun little story for you all. You might remember in the last clock video, I demonstrated the Ryzen Talking Atomic Travel Clock. Well, soon after that was published, of course, daylight savings time ended, and I'm waiting for the clock to update. I'm just waiting for it. And a couple days go by, it still didn't update. And so finally, I adjust it manually to make it correct so I could use it again. And But it still, of course, thinks it's daylight savings time. So I think it was several weeks it took before it finally updated. So... That was annoying, and then I had trouble with this clock as well, the keychain. So I think there was something in the area that was preventing the uh, the atomic signal from reaching these clocks. But it seems to be working now, so that's good. Okay, now I want to demonstrate a few of the things I don't really like about this clock. Well, actually, one thing that attracted me to it when I saw the description for this on Maxi Aids, if I press the alarm button on the back, that's the one in the middle. So if I press that. Alarm. What the alarm time is? Nine o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. You heard that said alarm one. So this, check this out. Alarm two. The alarm time is nine o five a.m. Alarm is on. Alarm three. The alarm time is six thirty seven a.m. Alarm is off. Alarm four. The alarm time is twelve o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. Alarm 5. The alarm 
Alarm time is 12 o'clock a.m. Alarm is off. Okay, now we should have docked a time display. Let's see. Yep, so it didn't say anything, but it is. So this has five alarms, which actually really excited me when I found out about that. But now it's time for me to demonstrate the alarm. So let me see what time it is. The time is 2.36 p.m. Okay, 2.36. Let's see if I could set alarm four. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll press and hold the alarm button, which is how we go to set mode. Alarm one. And we want alarm four, so I'll press the alarm button. Alarm two, alarm three, alarm four. Press it till we hear alarm four. And I'll set the hour, so let's press the hour button. One o'clock a.m., two o'clock a.m., three o'clock a.m. We want two p.m. Four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven eight nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven twelve, one o'clock p.m., two o'clock p.m. Okay, two, what time is it now? 36, let's see if we can do 38. Oh, one minute. So I'll press the minute button, which is the button on the left. <laughs> okay, that sounded funny. 11, 12, 13, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. The voice is not the clearest. 16 minutes, 17 minutes, 18 minutes, 19 minutes, 20 minutes, 21 minutes, 22, 20, 20, 20, 20, 27 minutes, 28 minutes, 29 minutes, 30 minutes, 30, 30, 33, 35, 36 minutes. Let's see, it's still a minute, so. There's 38. And now I'm going to press the talk button on the front to make sure the alarm is on. Alarm is off. Alarm is on. Okay, and I'll press the alarm button to exit. Alarm 5. And again. The alarm time is 9.05 a.m. Alarm is on. I'll talk about that in a minute. Now we'll wait for this to go off. That's it? Seriously? Yep, it is. So the annoying thing about this clock, and I, this really disappointed me, is that the alarm only goes off for 30 seconds. So if you're someone like me, I have a bad habit of shutting off an alarm and then immediately falling asleep, you might think, oh, it's only going to go off for 30 seconds. I can just stay in here. It's fine. It'll shut itself off. Whereas I think the other atomic clocks that I've looked at, the alarm goes off for five minutes. So that's going to get annoying real fast, but this really won't. And so I was not happy to see the alarm only goes off for 30 seconds. Um, and then the other interesting thing, you noticed that after I exited the alarm menu, it said the alarm is set for 9.05 a.m. and that it was on. Now, what I notice, and let's go through the um, the talk button again to cycle through the information. The time is 2.39 p.m. Today is Sunday, January 28th, year 2024. The alarm time is 9.05 a.m. Alarm is on. USA time updated. So it only gives the time for the first alarm that's turned on. So let's turn on, I think it's alarm five, that's still set till midnight. So I'll go ahead and enable that alarm. So I'm gonna press and hold the alarm button on the back. Alarm one. And I'll keep pressing it till we get to alarm five. Alarm two, alarm three, alarm four, alarm five. And press the talk button. Alarm is on. And now it's on. So I'll press it again to exit this. The alarm time is 9.05 a.m. Alarm is on. 
a.m. Alarm is on. Well, 12 o'clock would be the before 9.05. So it's only giving the time of the first alarm that's enabled, which is alarm two. So you can't really use that to know when your next alarm is, unfortunately. So I feel like that's kind of weird. So, and I'm not too crazy about that, but it is what it is. Now, if we go ahead and go into that menu and turn off alarm two. Alarm one, alarm two, alarm is off. Okay, I just turned it off. Alarm now three. when I go to the end of this. Alarm four, alarm five, the alarm time is 2.38 p.m. Alarm is on. Okay, so yes, exactly. It says the next alarm is 2.38 p.m. when actually it's really midnight. So that kind of demonstrates it right there. So that's a little annoying, but once I figured out that's how it does it, I'm kind of used to it. Now, if we press the alarm button and just cycle through, I believe we could hear each status, if I remember correctly. So let's do that. Alarm. What the alarm time is? Okay, so alarm one is off, nine o'clock a.m. Alarm two, the alarm time is nine oh five a.m. Alarm is off. That one's off. We just turned that one off. So alarm three, the alarm time is six thirty-seven a.m. Alarm is off. Alarm four, the Good alarm four. time is two thirty-eight p.m. Alarm is on. Alarm five, the alarm time is twelve o'clock a.m. Alarm is on. And that one's on. So four and five are on. So you have to kind of go through that to determine your next alarm time. You would think, though, that this would tell you your next alarm when you press the talk button. But that's just how it is. Okay. So let me just go back in and customize these. Turn off some of these and turn back on my 905. Okay, so now my alarms are set correctly, with alarm two being the only one that is active. Okay, so that is how that works. Now, to set the time manually, we use the hour and minute button. So if I press the minute button, minute. it tells you what it's currently set to. Now, I believe we have to actually use the talk button to increase the minutes here. So if we just press minute again. The time is 2.43 p.m. Keep doing that. 43 minute. The time is 2.43 p.m. So that just puts you in minute set mode. But if we, pre now if we press the hour button, which is to the, in the very right. 2 o'clock p.m. The time is 2.44 p.m. 2 o'clock. Time is 2.44 p.m. So there we go. That is that. And I think that does show all of the features of this clock. And that's another thing that um, I was a little disappointed. It didn't mention it in the description, so I wasn't expecting to see it, but I was still hopeful, is there does not appear to be, well, there isn't actually, an hourly chime feature. So if you want this to announce the time every hour, this atomic keychain does not do that. So I guess I'd say overall, this is a decent talking clock keychain. I think all of the brands from what I understand are very similar. So this is the Ryzen model that Maxi Age sells, but I think other companies sell ones with like different branding. And the only real difference with those, as far as I understand, is that the voice is different. But I think they say the same prompts, they have the same five alarm setup. Um, so that is the talking clock keychains. So I'd say overall, while this is a good keychain, I'm just a little disappointed with its functionality, but it gets the job done. You know, it's something I would use, but it's not quite as handy.
as I initially thought it would be when I purchased it last month. All right, well, that is a look at the Ryzen Talking Atomic Keychain. I hope this was helpful for you all, especially if you're considering, if you've saw this before and considered purchasing one, well, now you've gotten to see kind of how it works. All right, well, stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot of exciting plans coming up as we get into 2024. And of course, if you want to get some early access to videos, I do have memberships available and one of those tiers does give you that access. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that program as well. Okay, well, thank you for watching this and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.